Oh, I've been waiting to make this video. So today we are going to be talking about the top five worst things about web development. The, the things that, that make you say, did I make the right choice? Is this for me? I am so over this right now. And then you calm down and you go back to life. But these are the five things that as a developer, at least in my experience, as well as I've talked to a few people about this list. And let me, let's be clear. These are only five of many, right? Anybody if with any job, no matter how much you love it, there's always those things that are going to make you start popping off in the middle of the night, in the middle of the workday, whatever it is. But these are five of the key ones, and we're going to be jumping right in. Hey guys, before we get started, I just wanted to share the Humble Cloud Computing Bundle. So if you're interested in learning things like Docker, AWS, Azure, Cloud Native, Python. There's a great bundle going on for a dollar. You can get three books for eight dollars or more. You get also these five. Fifteen dollars or more, you get about seven more. So if you're if that's something you're interested in, I couldn't recommend the the humble organization even more. It's a great way to raise money for charity. You also have, of course, the way of choosing if all your money goes to charity, if all your money goes to me, if you want to help me out that way as well. So uh, I hope you decide to check it out. The link will be in the description below. All right, I got my list right here. This is going to be a, uh, a good one. So let's just jump right into the, the cancer, oftentimes referred to as the cancer of web development, Internet Explorer. Oh my goodness, this raggedy ass web browser. How much of a headache has it caused for the entire industry that it is just even exists? And Safari, give it another year. You're not too far behind. So get your shit together, please, uh, web browsers. Um, Safari, Internet Explorer. That's the first. That, that for me, is just the, the all-star of this list. These aren't in any particular order, but I think we had to start with the IE. So, um... Let's go to number two. Uh, now this is going to be maybe a uh, a little bit more of a controversial one. As legacy code, there's something about going through other people's raggedy ass code <laughs> where you're just like, why did you do this? What what technologies are we using? When was this written? Like, was this written before I was born? Who wrote this? Did they could they only see out of one eye? What is wrong with this legacy code? And why why does this? Why didn't they do it this way? It would have been so much easier to do it like this. And you start questioning everything. And then sometimes when you go and and you are, that's my cat tearing stuff up. But sometimes you go and and you're you you you're like, oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna refactor this. And before you know it, you've now broken eight other applications where this code was being used. And then maybe you get a little humbled. But legacy code is something that I think a lot of people is like. Ugh. Like, because <laughs> a lot of what you love about web development, at least in my case, and I, I would assume most people's cases, is you're oftentimes building something new, building something from scratch, and that's the fun, that's the sexy part of of web development. Where now you get to, but with legacy code, a lot of times you're just maintaining, doing slight modifications, text edits, nothing super exciting in in my in my um, experience. So the, uh, the third one is the merge conflicts. The merge conflicts. The, oh my God, man, I told you I was working in this. Why are you working on this? Now we got to go and spend all this time merging it, but it's okay. You do what I do. You just delete their code because I didn't waste any time. You waste all the time. I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. Um, you, you know, you just push straight to master and whatever happens, happens. Now, uh, I'm totally just kidding. But merge conflicts are something that are pretty common, uh, especially uh, depending on how many developers you have and who's working on what projects when. And um, there's, there's just something about that version control where things get jumbled up. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to fix sometimes it's not oftentimes uh you know some people will use guis specifically for that that aspect of version control i uh i've used guis for a lot of things such as tortoise git i'm trying to get better at the command line um version of git and i, I have recently but merge conflicts are are <laughs> horrendous uh, so the 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 next one, this one I'm I'm in, it's going to take a little bit of explaining and uh, for the developers and you may you so you a lot of you will be able to relate but for the developers you may not have even re 
realized it, but now that we're going to mention this next one, you're, you're not going to be able to stop hearing it for your entire career. The just keyword. And what I mean by that is the, 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 um, the individuals, project managers, the, the business, whatever, whoever it may be, who's going to assign you aspects to say, can't you just do this? Uh, you know, it's only, it's just going to take a few, a few minutes of time. I'll just add it into your sprint. I'll just add it into your projects. It just doesn't seem that hard. I don't understand. So you'll start hearing this just word. And if you start thinking about it, and now that I've mentioned it, you'll go into work tomorrow. And, and I promise you, your, your PM, your, your, whoever it is that your boss, that just word is going to be thrown out quite a bit. The just keyword is a is um, quite legendary in my books. Uh, now, And I didn't really realize it until a coworker suggested it. I was like, oh my goodness, you are so right about the just keyword. So um, this is what I refer to as the classic. Um, and some of you, I, I, I let you sit on that for a second and see if you can guess what the classic is. The classic is the, hey, we need you to build this immediately. The, hey, this thing that is super important, super important, we need it, but in reality is not that important, and you just, see, that's just word, we just need you to get this to us tomorrow, we just need this immediately, uh, the, uh, the super important project that had no planning and just came up last minute, those sorts of requests, the, hey, we need this immediately, it's so important, in reality, it's probably not any more important than anything else going on uh, in your sprint, in your in your workflow. But those are that that is that is one of the uh, these are probably my per five personal favorites. But uh, I have a list of five more. Maybe I'll do a, a part two later on. Um, this is a uh, and I, I by the way uh, when I make this list right, we're having some fun here. Um, you know, it's always fun to talk bad about IE, <laughs> at least in my book, but uh, we're having some fun here. I don't want this to dissuade anybody from going into the uh, the web development field or the software development field uh, because it's there's a lot more positives and these sort of things that, that weigh you down and, and drive you a little bit nuts in the process. And uh, so the reason I, I say that is I'll have a, a top five things I love about web development coming out and um, I'll link it in this video or it'll come out two days after this video however I release it but but what are you what are your some of you, what's going on up there what are some of your guys's favorite fa I say favorite very loosely what are some of your guys's I guess um, triggers that's what that's what these are really I mean I don't really like the word trigger uh, but what are some of your web development software development work triggers in the workplace and if you haven't worked as a software developer tell us what some of your things are when you are uh, debugging when you are whatever it is because look, look this is this is truth I spend 40 to 60 hours a week writing code I could go on for days uh, for days <laughs> Just about IE and how much that has caused me headaches. IE8. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need IE8 compatibility. What? Microsoft doesn't support IE. Why are we supporting IE? Just, just no, no. And I would question the sanity of somebody who uses IE. There needs to be some... When I see people use IE, I wonder. I, I wonder... I, I wonder about why. Like, what is going on, man? What do you know that I don't know? Like, because there's got to be some sort of secret loophole where you can, you know, hack the credit union or something in IE because how busted of a web, web browser it is. But um, all jokes aside, it's it's a wonderful field. I don't want to dissuade anybody. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon. Safari, though. Safari, that IE and that Safari. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Give you a little sneak peek at the next top five. So, um, well, which one do we want to? Which which one from this this highly coveted list do we want to talk about? Uh, so, I guess the universal bonus one would be users. And what I mean by that is because we love our clients. We love you, clients. You pay the bills. But sometimes you all do very strange things. Sometimes you break things that nobody in their right mind who would be using the product would ever do but you clients you users you have figured it out and you you are the epitome of murphy's law whatever can go wrong will go wrong and as frustrating as it is there's a certain beauty that goes along with this 
ability to, no matter how many unit tests are written, no matter no matter how much QA is done, no matter, no matter how much end-to-end -end testing, no matter how much forethought has gone into the development cycle, somehow you always find a way to find the one way that it can break and the one way that makes absolutely no sense how to do there. And for that, you get my respect <laughs> because you can do something no one else can. So that's our bonus one users. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to the top five or top ten things that you'll love about web development or I personally love about web development. Bye, guys. What's, what's going on, baby? My internet page isn't working. What browser are you using? Explorer. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.